Welcome back to another episode of this Redux course. Uh, this is the third episode. In the first episode we saw the architecture of Redux, the building blocks. In the second episode we saw all the uh, building blocks of Redux in practice, like uh, the reducer, uh, create store, uh, dispatch and subscribe. Uh, let's go through them really quick. A root reducer is a function uh, which is in charge for um, returning the next state of the application. Uh, if there are no state changes, you need to return the initial state unchanged. If there are uh, changes, if you want to make changes to the state, uh, by changes I mean returning uh, uh, another object. Anyway, you cannot simply change the uh, initial object. Uh, when you want to change the state, you return the next state inside a new JavaScript object. We saw two styles for returning this state, the object spread syntax and object.assign. We also saw how to create this store with this create store function and we uh, dispatched a couple of actions in this event listener and also we reacted to the uh, state changes with store.subscribe. We're mentioning this get state which is uh, convenient for checking uh, the exact uh, property of the state that we want to uh, listen to when it changes. Now, a uh, source of confusion for beginners is uh, this concept of action creators and named constants or also uh, named actions. Uh, in a moment we will see that there is no, nothing difficult about this concept. Uh, first thing first, as you can see uh, uh, there are a bunch of strings repeating over and over. Uh, this button clicked is uh, in the reducer, it is also in this action and uh, hmm, could also appear uh, in other spot of the application but for now if we want to isolate the strings to avoid typos for example because if I'm going to change this string to button click that will create problems it will be difficult to uh, spot these kind of bugs so uh, to avoid this problem we can abstract the actions inside a constant for example we can say const button clicked and that will hold our string now we can use this constant instead of the string inside the reducer and inside the uh, this action object let's create another um, constant for div visible they visible uh, this is a, a common wisdom in software development abstract constant and name it constant uh, at this point we can use button clicked here and the visible here in the user and that will um, make sure that uh, even if I misspell a letter here, the application won't stop working. Uh, let's also use um, the constant here and here. Uh, these are named constant, uh, named actions. Another source of confusion are action creator. Um, let's look at, at our application. Uh, what is that cool change? inside this piece of code. Uh, we have two JavaScript objects. Uh, can we abstract, uh, abstract away these objects inside another piece of the application? Yes, if we create two functions, one named function button clicked, which returns a JavaScript object with this action, and we can also create function div visible which returns another JavaScript object with this um, action. We can remove 
this stuff and return the object here. Now we can use button clicked at the visible. These are action creators, nothing difficult to think about. And this action creator can be used here. So for example, uh, we will use button clicked here as a function call and div visible here as another function call. These are action creators. Uh, action creators in Redux are functions returning JavaScript object and that objects are uh, Redux actions. Actions in Redux can have payloads. Uh, a payload is um, an arbitrary uh, piece of uh, uh, data that you can include inside your uh, action. For example, if I want to uh, carry a payload inside this action, uh, maybe I want to pass here the button that has been clicked, I can pass a payload to this uh, action creator. In this case, I'm passing the button that has been clicked. And here I can uh, get the payload uh, from the parameter. And I can, uh, for example, pass the payload here. And that payload will be away available inside the um, reducer. That means that if, if we want to uh, intercept the action payload and do something with it. Uh, think, for example, of an API call where you get uh, the data from the from the, the call. That would be a, a topic for one of the next lessons. Uh, you can get the action payload from the action. So uh, actions in Redux are plain JavaScript objects and uh, for abstracting away the uh, action creation phase, we can use action creators, uh, which are just JavaScript function returning objects and action can have a payload. Now in the next episode we will depart those into Redux Toolkit which is a nice abstraction over reducer creation, store creation and uh, uh, action creation. Uh, but keep in mind that this is Redux uh, you can think uh, of something like vanilla JavaScript. Uh, this is vanilla Redux. There is dispatch, subscribe, and get state. Make sure to subscribe to my channel to uh, get notified for the next episode, and see you later.